Hi, I'm Jerry the Snake Man, and today on Snake Clips we're going to be talking about snake bites. How to treat snake bites and what to do in case you are bitten by a venomous snake. Okay, I'm just going to clean this hog nose tank. Ah, you bit me! Here you go. Here's your snake bite remedy. Take some of this. Okay. Come on. Drink it off. Okay. While you're drinking that, let me put this tourniquet on your arm. This way we'll stop the venom from moving through your system, okay? All right, now give me this back. We'll stop the venom from moving through your system. Oh! All right, well, I'm here for my next lesson. Oh, you bit me again! Well, I guess I have no more lessons coming my way. Obviously, a snake bite is no laughing matter. But we tried to show you some of the old ways that people actually thought really did work. Well, nowadays we've come with our modern technology and everything. We have a very simple process. There are a few things you can actually do if somebody gets bit by a venomous snake. Um, one of the things is try to keep them to remain calm. Second thing is the cell phone. Use your cell phone. Call 911. Get an ambulance there as fast as you possibly can. Okay? Tell them that they've been bitten by a snake. Make sure you can identify the snake. They may have to airlift them, so you want to let the hospital know that you got a snake bite victim coming in, um, possibly that needs to be airlifted to some place who does know how to treat a snake bite. Um, the things you can do is, um, if it's a uh, bite that's from a, um, a cobra, which is a neurotoxic bite, you can wrap it up with a constriction bandage, a restrictive bandage. It'll keep the venom from flowing through the system too fast. If it's from a um, viper type of bite, that's a hemotoxic venom, which is a destructive venom. So you don't want to keep it located in one area. You actually want the venom to travel somewhat through the system so it gets diluted as it moves through. But what you're really looking for is you're looking to, to get to a hospital to get that anti-venom. The anti-venom will neutralize the venom and stop it from doing any more damage. Okay? One of the things you can buy is called an extractor kit. It's a suction kit. It works very well. It's made by Sawyer. Um, what you do with that is you will put it over this, the bite wound and it will suck venom back out through the uh, original bite wound. You do this for 30 seconds for the first five minutes, and you can remove as much venom as possible this way. Um, so watch now as we show you the proper way of treating a snake bite. So this time we're going to assume that you got bit by a cobra, which has a neurotoxic venom. So what we want to do is we want to slow the venom from moving through your system. So with a cobra bite, he bit you on the hand, we're going to wrap a restrictive bandage, not a tourniquet, a restrictive bandage around your arm here, 
and this is going to slow the, the venom down. Okay, and then within the first five minutes of the bite, you want to take your extractor kit. Um, if he had a lot of hair in his hand, you would shave it first. But then you pick the largest cup that will cover both bites, sites. If not, you'll have to use two separate kits. And this kit here, you put the extractor on, push it over the bite, and pull up and then push down the plunger and it will suck up his skin and the bite wounds into the cup. This will allow the venom to be sucked and pulled back through. You don't leave this on no more than 30 seconds. You release it, you'll wipe off the wound mark again, wipe out the cup, and you'll reapply it the same way. Oh. Put it right over the bite wound. And again, you would keep it there for 30 seconds, take it off, wipe it out, and you continue this for the first five minutes. But before you even try this, the next best thing you're going to do is you're going to grab your cell phone and you're going to call 911 and get the uh, uh, ambulance here as fast as possible. Because as soon as he can get anti-venom, as soon as it's going to neutralize this wound. Okay, this is actually a rattlesnake bite now, so we're not going to constrict it because if we put a compression bandage on here, it will reduce the um, venom from going through a system and it'll be more concentrated into this area where it'll do a lot more damage. So we want the venom to at some point move a little bit through the system, but we're still going to use the extractor. We're going to put it over top of here and we are going to cause it, as you can see, the skin pulls up in there nice. And what's happening now is that it's pulling the venom right back out of the same holes that it was uh, injected into. We'll do this every 30 seconds, and we'll continue to do this for up to five minutes. Again, the most important thing we should be doing even before the extractor is calling 911 to get the ambulance here because anti-venom, what it's going to do is actually neutralize the venom, so we need to get that into a system as quickly as possible.